Well, the Hugo Ekateke deal seems to be just... It's a drama, isn't it? More than a drama. It's it's now getting beyond pathetic. Uh, news broke this morning uh, that uh, his agents and representatives are now speaking to Paris Saint-Germain. Now, obviously, we know this is a massive move for the kid. And uh, given that, you know, he gets to stay in France with PSG, etc., uh, is obviously a lure to him. Uh, but I have a feeling that a lot is going on behind the scenes with his agent. You know, many, many times already we've seen his agent delay uh, talks with Newcastle or um, bringing him over or whatever it may be. Uh, his agent has stalled that. Now, I said yesterday that, um, you know, agents, for me, they just look out for money, don't they? That's one priority for agents. It's not necessarily the player's welfare that they think about. It's it's big money. And I think Ekitek's agent knows fine well that there is big money involved in this move, certainly for him um, and maybe the player himself. Now, PSG... There's no doubt about it. It's a lure to any player. Of course it is. You know, very, very successful in France. Um, kind of successful in Europe. Not really brilliant, though. Uh, you know, they haven't won the Champions League for a while. But, you know, obviously staying in France may be a pull for Ekateke, Um And his agent is trying to negotiate uh, a deal that way. Now, with Newcastle United, how long do we go on with this? It's a similar situation to Botman. Um, how long do we actually, you know, stay in this race? You know, we know and we've said a million times that uh, we're going to, you know, have to battle these top teams because we're at the top table now. Everybody knows the wealth of Newcastle United. Uh, so when we come knocking, uh, you know, Newcastle United tax, etc., as we've said in the past, goes on to the price of the player. There's no doubt about that. But I put a tweet out this morning just to see how people uh, people were feeling about it. And the overwhelming response that I've got is that, you know, many, many fans now just want to move on. Just want to look for somebody else because obviously, you know, time is moving on here. Um, I'm not really panicking yet because I think the club will have uh, various targets that they want to aim at. But obviously, they're going for the top targets first, i.e. Botman, Ekiteke. Now, with Botman, it's slightly different because Lille were playing funny buggers. And then, of course, they go and sack the manager yesterday and instead, uh, sorry, put uh, Paulo Fonseca in charge. Now, that is a big move for them. Now, whether that was anything to do with uh, delaying the Botman deal, only time will tell on that. Whether uh, Fonseca wants to try and keep Botman at the club uh, for whatever project he's going to be working on. So that's slightly different to the Ekiteke one. You just feel like Ekiteke has now had a long time. You know, he's had since January to work out whether he wants to come to Newcastle United. And, you know, apparently deals were, uh, you know, done. You know, offers were sent, offers were accepted, personal terms agreed with players, etc. That's what's been reported in the media. Yet still, we have a delay on the transfer, which gets me to thinking that Ekateki himself isn't sure of what he wants to do. Now, this is a very, very difficult decision for a very young kid, let's be honest. You know, he's going to be moving countries if he came to Newcastle. It's a big step moving into the Premier League. You know, and a lot of people have stated on social media, well, would he get in the side at Paris Saint-Germain? Well, you have to think about would he get in the side at Newcastle as well? Because a lot of people were saying that when they were doing the starting lineups, Ekateke was always sort of second to ASM, if you like, if he plays on the left-hand side, because he's not an out-and-out striker. He likes to play on the left-hand side, let's not forget that. So he wouldn't exactly be a starter for Newcastle either, or... Eddie Howe might have other plans for him, might want to work with him on, on certain other positions. So for me, um, I don't know what to think anymore um, because, you know, although I'm not panicking, you know, time is getting on and, you know, Eddie Howe has already stated that he wants to have his squad in place for pre-season. And if he doesn't have that, you know, if we're still working on transfers come pre-season, it's going to rock the apple cart a little bit. You know, we want these players to come in, be settled straight away, uh, know where they're going, know what they're doing, and be able to work on uh, stuff in pre-season that Eddie Howe wants. But unfortunately, we're not getting that at the minute. Uh, all we're getting is frustration. Um, now, as I say, behind the scenes, it might be very, very different with the owners. They might know exactly who they're going for. They might know exactly what they want. Uh, they'll have a list together. You know, Dan Ashworth certainly uh, will have a list of, of contacts and things like that uh, to work with Eddie Howe with. So the panic necessarily isn't there in me yet. I just think the time is moving on slightly. And, you know, we've stuck by, you know, Botman and Ekitek here since January now. Let's not forget that. This isn't just the summer transfer window that this rigmarole has been going on. It's been going on a while. Uh, so for me, uh, is it time to move on? Possibly. 
because if he's now talking to PSG, you know, it, it just says is his heart really in movement to Newcastle United, and that's what I'm getting back on social media as well. The feedback saying, well, if he really wanted to come, he'd have snapped our hands off and he'd be signed by now. But obviously, the lure of PSG, the size of PSG in France is obviously something that Ekitek is thinking about, uh, certainly his agent is thinking about as well. So, I don't know, guys. Is it time to move on? Because it just seems like an absolute drama. I'm getting fed up of it all now. Many, many fans are getting fed up of it all. It just seems like something changes every day with the situation. And, you know, should we now, as Newcastle United, say, right, we're not being played by anybody, by a club like Lille or an agent, as in Ekitek's agent, or the player himself. We're not being messed around because we haven't got time for that. We want to build and we want to be established, ready for pre-season, ready to go. So for me, maybe it's time to move on. Maybe it's time to look at other targets because we're dragging our heels with these two. Uh, and certainly, Ekitek here now, for me, you know, his representatives are, are playing us around and we, we don't deserve that. We're not that kind of club. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, is it is it the fact that, you know, we, we just, we want these players so badly that we're hanging around for them? You know, or we're going to offer more money to what PSG can? It, 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 there's just so many things that can be happening behind the scenes. But for us as fans, it's it's becoming a drama that, that we don't really need. You know, we are all looking forward to next season and, and building on what we did last season under Eddie uh, and the new owners. And it just seems like we don't need these dramas. So maybe it is time to look elsewhere, look at all the other players that are available because there's plenty out there. Believe me, there's plenty out there. And maybe we should turn our attention to that. But let me know down below what you think because I'm getting a little fed up of it all now. It's becoming a drama and we don't really need it. Um, but I'm interested to see what you guys think, certainly on Twitter, etc. Um, people are overwhelmingly suggesting that we move on and that we're being played around too much here by um, Ekiteki and his representatives. So let, let's just say, right, we're pulling out. Y you've only got one option now, Sunshine, and we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, but let me know down below. I really am uh, interested in what you say. Uh, we do have another show tonight, guys, if you're watching this on the Friday. 8pm, it's the transfer show. Uh, we've got some brand new names to put to you, uh, looking at the stats and looking at what they would bring to Newcastle United as well. So don't forget to join us for that. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, as usual, guys, please do hit the subscription button. Uh, it's free to do so. Hit the notification bell as well, and that'll let you know when we upload or go live. Uh, you can become a member of the Tune Review by hitting the join button just below. And if you wish to donate to the channel, as so many wonderful, wonderful people have, uh, there's a thanks button just along from the uh, the like button with a dollar sign next to it, which means you can donate to the channel even when we're not live. But thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you later on the transfer show. Take care. <laughs>